Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to take a look at payware scenery versus the default scenery we get out of the box with the sim. So here we are coming into Gladstone Airport. Um, this is from Orbex. Shout out to Orbex for hooking us up with this. It's uh, very much appreciated and um, there is an affiliate link in the description if you want anything from the Orbex store. So the first thing we can notice as we are coming into land here is that the uh, textures, the ground textures seem to be of a much higher quality on the Orbex version. We've also got a perimeter road which is uh, modelled much more nicely and we've even got a little animated train going along here and again the nearer we get to the ground you can definitely see those uh, those ground textures paying dividends especially as we come into land you can see there's a, a well used touchdown zone there of all the tire marks I love to see that on a runway uh, really sort of adds to the immersion factor in my view anyway um, so and also the you can see the grass kind of left and right of the runway it looks so much better on the Orbex version here's where you start to see some differences um, obviously we've got a, an area here where we can turn to do a backtrack and you can see on the default scenery it just simply it's just simply not there at all so going on around we'll just speed this up um, sorry a little bit of a slow backtrack there as we come off of the runway here, look carefully, you'll notice that actually this airport is built onto a bit of a slope. You can see on the Orbex version, you can see the houses there rising from left to right, whereas on the default airport, it's just completely flat. Um, smaller details throughout, like the fencing we got here from Orbex, and we've got the GA area, the helicopter area, and again, those ground textures are definitely paying dividends. Orbex say that they use crisp 15 centimeter aerial imagery and I think it's fair to say that you can see the effect. Now as we come into the parking area here on the Orbex uh, version of the scenery you'll see not only does the terminal building look really nice but look how the parking area is actually built on a split level and, and again that kind of goes back to how this airport was built onto a almost on like a, a hill like a slope. So the parking area is quite unique here at Gladstone that's been modeled really well by Orbex. If we look out the window, now we're parked up, you look at the default, it's uh, completely flat. And then we go to the Orbex and you can see, you know, they've really put in the hours to model that. And the terminal building again on the default just looks like that kind of stock, bland kind of building, terminal building we've come to know in the sim. And then you just compare and contrast to the Orbex version and the levels of detail is, is, is night and day. Now, I've always been a little bit confused um, until quite recently as to why developers spend so much time modeling the inside of the terminal buildings, given that, you know, I'm not going to go in there. I'm too busy in the plane. It wasn't until uh, I recently switched to a night mode and uh, we well, can see it here. It just looks so much better when you're pulling up to a, a terminal and you can actually see through the windows and you see a fully modeled interior. It looks great in the daytime, even better at night as well. Okay, so we've now, uh, we're changing airports. We're now at Gold Coast Airport uh, from Orbex again. And obviously you can see the ground textures are just night and day. It's not even close. Orbex looks so much better. However, pay particular attention to what's about to happen. Notice how on the Orbex scenery, we're following a taxiway, yet on the default scenery, we're in the grass. Now, why, how did this happen? So I should explain how I went about recording this video. I did the landing initially using the Orbex scenery and I recorded the flight data. I then removed the Orbex scenery, leaving us just with the default scenery, and then replayed that flight data. So my plane was moving in exactly the same places, it's just when it was on the default scenery, I end up in the grass. Now, okay, fine, you might say, why does that matter? I can just, you know, follow taxiways on the default scenery so I don't taxi in the grass. Well, what if you're on, say, VATSIM and you're told by a controller, go on a certain taxiway, and actually, if you follow a taxiway that is on the default scenery you could potentially be in the wrong place so there is a bit of a risk there and it wouldn't be the first time that we've heard of default scenery letting you down on things like that sim because of course it's important that the controllers know where you are and also other pilots know where you are so actually it might be that if you're told to go on a certain taxiway on the default scenery maybe you should be in the grass to ensure you're on the right place for everyone else on the VATSIM network I don't know it's a weird one um, but it's definitely something to keep in mind if you uh, frequent an airport quite a lot on VATSIM it's probably worth picking up some payware scenery I uh, had similar problems in Dublin uh, not so long ago but the less said about that the better 
So back to Gladstone now and beyond the actual airport itself with Payware Scenery you quite often get a few extra things. So here we've got the local railway infrastructure modelled complete with an animated train and we've also got a power station. Now why does the power station matter you might ask? Well actually it's very close to the airfield in this instance and it's quite a big building that sticks quite high up to the into the sky. So actually it is of relevance to pilots. Compare and contrast to the default scenery i mean obviously you can see the train lines through the kind of uh, pixelated ish aerial imagery and obviously the power station is nowhere to be seen so i think it's fair to say that there are definite definite benefits to having handcrafted airports especially the ones that are kind of like your regulars the ones that you're in and out of all the time um, not only do visually do they look better they're more true to life which again you know if you're thinking about vat simming and things like that not wanting to cause problems then you know some handcrafted scenery that's a lot more accurate is uh, definitely the way to go hopefully you've enjoyed um, the video and hopefully you've actually been able to get a clear idea of the benefits of handcrafted scenery versus the default I figure the easiest way to show you is just to literally show you them side by side you know before or after you, you can make your own mind up that way and until next time take the very best care of yourselves and as always happy flying <laughs>